All right, you guys, it's your boy Jay Freshman back with another tutorial. This one, I just want to go over like quick um, shortcuts. Like I said, man, you always want to know the functions in and out of your DAW that you're using. That's what it really comes down to because at the end of the day, when it comes to this digital era of music, we're just trying to um, translate the ideas that we have in our head into a computer system. So most of you guys, I mean, I feel like anybody could become a producer or a musician, but when it comes to like translating your ideas into the, your DAW, you have to know the functionalities. Like you could come up with a beat in your head and I'm pretty sure a lot of people that listens to music, they're able to just, you know, hum out stuff or beatbox a little stuff. And that's how, you know, the great producers, they make their beats, they have it in their head and they know how to translate it very well. And I, un I understand that if you understand the functionalities, it's just going to be a lot easier to go about doing things. So for like, as far as shortcuts, man, I know you guys probably like, oh, I already have my own kind of workflow. Honestly, there's, it's, it's not something, this is not anything biased, but at the end of the day, shortcuts are there for a reason for, you know, that faster workflow. So if you have a workflow and shortcuts is not part of it, then you're not understanding that there, your workflow could be a lot more efficient and faster. So I'm going to show y'all a few things. Like these are things that I just even learned too, you know, and as far as shortcuts also, I'm, this is more specific towards la um, laptops because I, I'm primarily on my laptop. And I know there's a lot of people that use their desktop and stuff. So when I look at the shortcuts for desktop, it's like that doesn't translate well with my um, laptop, which is a Lenovo. So hopefully this could help you guys out that are laptop users. And I think many of us upcoming producers were on our laptops because we're on the go. But anyways, let's get into this video. So first one I want to start off is with um, control. O. So what Control O does, it um opens up a new file. And yeah, don't mind the beat names because <laughs> I really just don't be naming my beats. Like I just be randomly just naming it. Even though I did say in one of my good habits and producer habits, or if you guys check out my Instagram, the good habits that producers should make, um, naming them is definitely one of them. And for the most part, I do name it after I get the project all done and stuff, but you want to get that in the forefront and there is a shortcut key that's going to help with that. But so control O pretty much just opens up a new file, but I'm just going to press escape to cancel that. Escape is a good one to get out of things. Um, control S to save your file. Cont um, control shift S is to save as. Like I said, don't mind the beat names. Like I got some wild ass beat names, but um, Control S and Control um, Shift S, it's kind of the same thing, but you're just making a new file. So it's kind of they're both kind of like Control N. Control N is making a new version, and as you can see in the top left corner, it just went from um, Roger and then, then Roger too. <laughs> Don't ask me why I named the beat Roger. It, there's no correlation to anything. This is just it's a random ass thought. <laughs> but anyways, this is a new one that I just learned recently. And this is going to help out with people, um, you producers that are like doing all these MIDI kits and all this stuff. So um, what you want to do is go to your MIDI and press Control M. And that creates a MIDI for you. Do you know how fast it is? Because when I was trying, I don't really drop too many mini kits. Honestly, I only have two. But this is going to help out because sometimes we could get lazy and, you know, it's a whole process. That's why I said if shortcuts is not part of your process, you're missing out on a big part. Because this one, boom, I could just easily press Control M, save that, put it in a folder. And then when I do that to all the melodies that I like, next thing you know, I already have a MIDI kit already built up. So... That's just excellent. And while we in a piano roll, um, let me just kind of do some shortcuts in the piano roll while we're here. Um, so Alt-U pretty much chops up the notes and you could just even highlight it. Play the beat on 
accident, but let's vibe real quick. Yeah, yeah, all right, back to the video. So you could highlight, and then you could just do like, um, alt U for chopper, you know, when we want to do our hi-hat rolls and shit. Or you could do alt A. It's it's pretty much the same thing. It's, it's arpeggio and you're arpeggiating the hi-hats or whatever. So alt U and alt A is pretty much the same thing to me. Um, alt S is to strum your notes, you know, if you have your chords. Hold on. What is going on? I don't know why that's not working, unless I'm not seeing it. Let me go to a different part. Hmm. Probably got to take off. I'm pretty sure <laughs> one of you guys know that I really don't use this feature, to be honest. I'm, I'm an all to the grid kind of person. I'm not even all to the grid kind of person. I use... What I do is um, I will go inside the sampler, the channel rack, and do the shift thing. You know, that's my kind of way. But obviously, to strum your notes is a good way to go about it. But for some reason, I'm not sure how this functionality works, which is weird. Anyways, I'm pretty sure you guys know. Like I said, at the end of the day, all S is to pull up that um, feature. And you can just figure it out. Um, main, Because the main ones I use is like, let's say it was like this. Let me just kind of bring it off grid a little. Control Z to edit undo. Control Shift Alt Z, I think. Yep. Control Shift Alt Z. So let's say if it's like this, right? You could do control Q and it will match it to the um, grid. And you got to make sure you're on line or cell so it can really match to the lines. If you're just on like a third, then it's going to, you know, it's going to go to that type of setting that you're on. And like I said, control Z is to edit undo. Um, while we're in here, what else is a good one to remember? Oh, Alt Z to bring up your zoom tool and you could just go like boom into the areas that you want. And then all you have to do to um, click out of it, just left click on your mouse and brings it back to the regular part. And that's good because, you know, sometimes when we're doing our hi-hats or like little rhythms that we're trying to get crazy with complex, we could just zoom in like that. And then Alt X is also a good feature to control the volume, especially if you have like a piano you know, the lower that you play it, it, it plays it a lot softer, you know. So that's a good feature. And as far as that, that's the only kind of ones that I use. And also you can always check in the um, wrench tool, I believe. No. In this little down arrow, you could go to... Hmm. Yeah. So you could go to tools and it shows you all on the side. So the thing is, I, like most people know about shortcut keys, but they don't understand the benefits of it. Or yeah, I want to, there's a better word than benefits, but I'm going to just say benefits. Like, you know, we're kind of late until we see someone else do it and then see how they're doing it and how it's helping them move a lot faster so this is why I made this video it's not like this is anything that I'm special and I know this technique like everything is really right here you know boom all E for the riff machine quick legato oh yeah quick legato is a nice feature um let's say we want to stretch all these notes and the way I like to do it though if I want all the notes to be like stretched like this I will um click right here don't mind the background. I'll click right here and then control L. Boom. Control L and you see the legato feature. I mean the articulated feature. Same thing. But um So yeah, you can just check up all the tools that you want right there and um 
you got glue, you got quick chops, all the stuff that I just pretty much went over. So make sure you look at those features, you know, and um, you can even go to help. Help, you can even go to help and go to, and a faster way to get the help. So I know I'm kind of moving around a lot, but because there's only a few shortcuts that I'm using. So this is where F1 is for help. That's if you're not on a laptop, though, you feel me? If you're on a desktop, you could just easily press your F1s and all that. But for a laptop, there's going to be a different key that you got to press along with it. Like, I got an FN key on my keyboard. And most of you guys that probably have laptops probably have it or not um, as far as Windows. Like, I don't have a Mac. So, um, but I, I feel like the shortcuts is a lot easier on a Mac, you know. But you would press FN and 1. And that brings up the um, helper. Boom. And the cool part is, it's, it's whatever you're on. Let, let's say I was in a mixer and I press F1. It's going to bring up all the mixer information, the mixer manual. You feel me? The mixer functions. Um, boom. F2 now. Hold on. This names the pattern. Rename the pattern. F2. Fn and F3. I don't really use F3. F4 is the nice one because then you you could switch to a different um, pattern. As you can see, it was on pattern five. Now if I press the Fn and F4, pattern six, and it brings up you know you can name it whatever Fh, boom. Now F5. I keep pressing control, but it's Fn. So, okay, my bad. Fn is Fn and F five is the playlist, so I could cancel out in and out with the um, playlist. F six I could cancel in and out with the channel rack. F seven I could do it with the piano roll, and that's good if you're already on like one of your synths or whatever you're on one of your patterns. Let's say the piano roll wasn't up. If I'm already highlighted on it and I do FN and seven, boom, it pops up. So it's whatever you have selected at the moment. And then F8, I don't really use that one. It just brings up the mixers. You, many of you guys might find that um, convenient. Like I said, remember to press the FN or remember to find the key that is not a usual key on your laptop and that would be the one that you will press along with the F4 and all that um let's see F F9 is the mixer as you can see boom 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 F10 so this is where F10 if you have it on file then or projects you no know, actually info and then you name it boom 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 it will save properly and I think that's a faster workflow, F10 again, boom. Click info and then, you know, save right there. Put your, you can even put your lyrics or whatever you like to. F12 just cancels out everything. Well, it's supposed to cancel out everything.